to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. Today's interview question is extremely popular, extremely important and extremely uh, I would say number one question that you should be preparing when you're preparing for your interview. They are going to ask you this question for sure which is write a method or a function to check if a given string is palindrome or not. Okay, that's question number 25 on our series. So before that, before writing code for checking the string is palindrome or not, let me explain you what is a palindrome string. A palindrome is a string which you, when you change the order, it will read the same way forward as well as backward. A good example is, let's say radar, right? R-A-D-A-R. -A -A now you read it backwards, it will still be same. Uh, another good example is level, L-E-V-E-L. You read it either way from forward or backward, it would still read the same. Also, uh, last example you can think of is madam, M-A-D-A-M, M-A-D-A-M, reverse, right? So basically a palindrome string is nothing but that forward and backward, it would still be the same, right? So let's go ahead, uh, see how to implement that, right? And it's tricky and little interesting. Uh, before I get there, uh, I'll request you to please do check out and get the ebook on JavaScript top 100 coding snippets that every developer should know. These coding snippets will really help you become better developer in improving your logic as well as cracking that front-end developer interview role. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Alternatively, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. All right, back to the question. <clears throat> write a function to check if a given string is palindrome or not. So basically we will need to implement a little custom method which would check uh, if the string, so basically when we get a string, we'll have to basically split it, then reverse it, then basically when you split it, you need to join it back also, right? You join and then reverse and then finally check if the two strings are same or not. Uh, that's the basic common logic that will go behind it, all right? So let's me go ahead and start the coding and show you how to write that code. I have an empty script tag, all right? So let's go ahead and write a method and say is check palindrome string. Just say check palindrome, all right? So that's the name of the method I am giving. Now what we will do is we will obviously pass a um, variable inside it, which will check and read this particular method will return us if it is palindrome or not. All right, so now, uh, what happens is sometimes, uh, like for examples, like I told you, it can they can give you multiple options and can be. So let's see now. I'm just showing you different combinations. So this is a good clean code, right? But if you see here, I put it as uppercase. Now let's say if somebody says L E V E L, right? So this may be tricky. Right, uh, having uppercase and all that. So a good I idea always in such cases is to convert it into a, a lowercase and have it as an expression. So I'm going to say str dot replace. Okay, let's write a simple search value. Okay, and then I'm going to implement forward slash. This is kind of a regular expression to replace that globally. And then I'm going to say, if I get an empty string to lower case. So what we will get here is a lower cased value. All right. Now that we have it, what we will do is again, we will check and we will just, or else we can just return it here in the same statement. And I'll say return if str is equal to, right? is equal to str dot. Now see, this is the tricky part. First, you need to split. You need to split each puppet, then do a reverse, and then do a join. That means we will get it reverse now, right? Because palindrome means you should be able to read it from backwards also. So you need to reverse and then join those uh, each alphabet. Now, that's it. This method will tell us whether it is a palindrome or not. I'm going to quickly check it if my logic is written correct. So we'll pass madam and check here. All right. So it says false. Okay. 
so it's not equal to now the reason being if there is any uppercase we are making it to lowercase okay and then we are checking split mm, str dot split dot reverse dot join okay we did not join it correctly here okay now this should be good let's see okay so now it says true okay now see what happens if I don't move that uppercase to lowercase it's still true in some cases but let me check with this okay so you see now it is false because the here it is uppercase so what I'm doing here is I'm telling that you will get a string replace all the uppercases globally to lowercase first that means convert the entire string into lowercase right uh, one other way of implementing this is you don't even need this then you can just directly do this right so this is also okay but sometimes it's good to convert uppercases only that may be also be a requirement so alternatively whichever you feel comfortable is fine all you need to do is take the string first convert it to lowercase then split each alphabet reverse them and then join them back so you get a reverse string and then I'm checking if the given string input is equivalent to the reverse one and if yes then it's a palindrome if else it is not let me show you two more examples by passing data I'm going to pass one more palindrome which is level and here I'm going to pass some wrong value so it should be true false true right so this is false because it, when you reverse it it becomes T O O R and not root again whereas these two are true all right pretty cool this is something that is often asked to check candidates logical way of thinking how you approach so please do remember how to write palindrome uh, method now after going through this tutorial I hope you find this useful and helpful for more such interview questions please keep uh, joining me in this particular series I'm really excited about this series as there will be more tougher uh, coding snippets that I'm going to get it for you you can get the entire ebook of all the questions and answers at rtutorials.gumroad.com if you have any queries on that please write to me at surya.arad@gmail.com. thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode